the power is going in and out. So every time it goes on and off, it turns on our bedroom lamp, even though it's off because we have a smart plug. <laughs> so it's not so smart right now. My stomach's growling. Time for breakfast. Glory, are you getting the crumbs? Are you finding all the crumbs? Taking the lazy way out for breakfast. Cottage cheese. <laughs> Straight out of the container. Um, we have to go check fences and make sure that none of them are drastically terrible this morning. So, um, break the ice on cows. gotta go break the ice so the cows can drink. Two different things. So, all the jackets went into the dryer. You're welcome. Because husband's amazing. And we're gonna go. So. It's gonna be a fun-filled day of coldness. <laughs> it's cold. I don't like the cold. I'm wearing my Fargo hat. <laughs> I don't wear you my- You made fun of that when your mom gave that to you. I made fun of this hat. And now you like it. I like it because COVID caused global cooling. <laughs> it's cold. I got my neck gaiter on, army gloves on, my bibs on, a jacket that's old enough to drive legally. God, <laughs> I love Carhartt. And then I got my duck pants on. So we're good to go. Oh my gosh, that big tree. What a mess. I got my hammer, a rubber mallet, I'm gonna go break some ice. Here we go. I definitely don't want to fall on my butt. This ice is very crunchy on the ground. Oh my gosh. Look at the turkey pin. We're just gonna break your ice so you can drink some water. Yeah, turkeys, I know. Look at this mess. Our poor, poor, huge trees. <sighs> for centuries to come. Good morning, turkey. Was much easier. These icicles don't even look real, they're humongous. <laughs> look at the wire. 
Yeah. I'm like legitimately afraid to walk under these huge trees. <laughs> but hopefully we don't die. They're hanging so low. It's craziness. Oh. You didn't drip this faucet? The ground surprisingly is not that slippery. Oh my god. This huge tree right over mom's house. Deck railing. What's wrong, Pepper? Go inside. Let's start the truck. <laughs> Get it warm for a little while. Ugh. All right, mountain man, let's go in Oma's house. I gotta fix my sock. What? Yeah, there's like sky there. <laughs> oh gosh, it's on the roof up there. At least hopefully it's kind of holding it up, like the branches so they don't break more. Ugh. Look at the barbecue pit, it's bent. It must have hit that. Pepper, what did you do? Did you break it? Oh my gosh, what a mess. Go inside where it's warm, doofus. What a disaster. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, let me see the hammer. Maybe I can do this, but I'm gonna do it. You know what's beeping is that gate's wide open up there and it can't close. a huge branch that is on the zip line. Don't pull on it right now, Caleb. Freaking me out. Scare me. Zip line is gonna be, well, it's not broken. That's good. It's gonna be well stretched. <laughs> My That's chair, I think, is broken. My good chair. Oh no, it's just upside down. On what? The girl's jacket. Oh, there's Autumn's jacket, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's extra crispy. <laughs> Yo, we really gotta check. <clears throat> the slack line. How boingy the slack line is. Oh my god, I'm afraid the fabrics are gonna break. <laughs> god, all these poor trees. <laughs> Wanna go in? 
a mess. Looks like a tornado came through here. All right, let's get out from under the trees before something falls on our head. <clears throat> get weather like this here. The valley looks so pretty. other half of our fences. We checked the first half, it took a few hours to move all the branches and stuff and the roads and everything up on the hill. Then we came back for lunch and a little bit of a rest. So I'm gonna check these now. Well, we found a piece on the fence finally. <coughs> So we need to, it's mostly just that section right here. Your Rudolph, that's right. Say Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Wow. Watch out. It's just that piece in the middle. The rest is the cedar tree. Yeah, we'll get that. If y'all can break off the small bits, no, don't drag it. Because if you, Emma, if you drag it, you're going to break the fence. So break off the small pieces that are on the barbed wire. <clears throat> Does it make you stronger if you're wearing your sunglasses? Yes. It's not Del Christie. Because you're what? Del Christie. I don't know who that is. Good job, Danny. Hey, real cowboy. <laughs> You're insane. Ow. Watch out. Watch out, Daddy's gonna do it. It's not bad. Watch out. <laughs> Just this fence wire piece came off. Tighten it back up again. Need to put in <laughs> Okay, let's carry on. Let's go find a new spot to fix. Carry on my way with sun. Onward, noble steed. Onward. Well, it was hanging like that, so that's yeah. why there's icicles dripping down. Pretty neat. Come on, so you know how the plants are always hard to break? Well, yeah. the ice makes them like. As like fragile as glass. I know. It's crazy. That's why you can literally just destroy it. Okay. Get in the car. No, get in the horsey. Get on the horse, Dad. Surveying the damage. What? All the glass bulbs are broken. The hammock's broken. The trampoline is 
busted up. There's no branches on that, fortunately. Doesn't look like any are about to fall on it either, so that's good. Is it frozen? Whoa. Let's test it. Oh yeah, it's frozen. Let's test it. Throw the bridle! All right, go. <laughs> we are headed to town, braving the roads. I don't think the conditions should be that much worse today because yesterday is when it was actually precipitating. So before it decides to snow and rain on us again, on top of this ice, we decided we needed to go get the few things we needed from the grocery store because it's Friday now and we're supposed to be having winter weather tomorrow all the way through Wednesday. So this will be an interesting Valentine's Day. It's the first Valentine's I've been with her since really I was started being an act teacher. Yeah, that's true, because he's usually gone. And I usually, if he's not gone, I'm at the music teacher conference like last year. Um, I was in San Antonio for that and really had a good time. So before all the COVID lockdowns and everything. So let's go and we'll drive slow. Here we go. Oh yeah. What an exhausting day this has been. But since I like to spoil us, I decided to make chicken fried steak for dinner, keto style with pork rinds, of course. But it turned out pretty good. What do you think? Mm. Really good. <laughs> We're both ready to crash. Busy, busy day. All those branches, they just, it was like never ending. <laughs> and that was just moving them out of the way so we could make sure that there was no huge breaches in the fence for the cows. The rest comes later once all the snow, I mean ice, just ice. No Lots of ice. No snow. All the ice melts. <clears throat> so they're calling for worse weather now. Um, up until like Thursday, basically. It's Friday now, next Thursday. So the next week is going to be super fun. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it's just... The weather know, man's the, wrong. Yeah, hopefully the weather man's wrong. Um, we don't do cold here in Texas. It's like... 30 degrees Fahrenheit is like insane to us. So seeing negative one as a low, <laughs> I don't even know what that feels like. I'm, I don't think I've ever experienced negative one degrees. Yeah, we'll see. All right, well, have a good night and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to see more of our vlogs and travel content. Good night, everybody.